Welcome to the College Readiness Math MOOC. I am your instructor, Jennifer Koziak, and in this video, we will explore the components of each of the 10 math modules. Since these modules are created with the same features, it is important that you will be able to navigate through the site. Once you log in to the College Readiness Math MOOC, you will be brought to the course home where you will see the agenda. Now the agenda will take you to the module that you are currently working on as well as provide you news or information on the course. We are now accessing module 1 which is fractions, ratios, and percents after we've completed that pre-assessment. Let's look at the components for each of the modules. The first thing that you will notice is the learning outcomes for the module. In this module, we will be looking at operations with real numbers as well as solving mathematical problems using rates, ratios, and percents. Each of the components are designed to help you scaffold and extend your learning. The first component is what we call the Minute of Math. And in this Minute of Math, you will be able to access a video of a course instructor providing you a real-world context for the module information. Following the Minute of Math, you will be able to access subtopics that are going to provide you with more information and material related to the module. You will also have links to the WebWork homework. And again, the homework is designed for you to practice the key concepts and skills. Now remember, you need to register for your WebWork access prior to starting the homework. Finally, you will be able to access your quiz for each module. And just to recall that in order to access the next module, you must pass this quiz with a 50% or better, but you will have unlimited attempts. Let's look at some of those key components. We're going to start with the minute of math. This video is going to provide you with a real-world context for the module. You will be able to scroll forward or rewind in any of the videos. At the end of the minute of math, the instructor will pose a relevant question in which you can type in and submit your answer. Upon completion, you can select the conclusion tab where the instructor will walk you through the solution process. If you're having trouble viewing the videos, you might want to select the link right above the video. After viewing the minute of math, you are ready to move on into the subtopics. There's a couple of ways to access those subtopics. A quick way is to notice this tab on the left side of your screen. And if I click on it, I will be brought to the subtopics as well as a quick link to the module homework and quizzes. Another way that I can access this material is to always go back to the course home where it will bring me up the agenda page. Let's look at one of the subtopics. I'm going to explore fractions just a little bit further. Now each module is created the same. You will start in the subtopic with a lecture and notes, followed by what we call a series of learning objects that will provide you with material for you to scaffold and extend your learning. You will also see a completion bar that monitors what material you've already have accessed. Let's look at the fraction lecture and notes. Now the lecture is just a video podcast of the key ideas in the subtopics. The lecture is just a short video podcast of the key ideas. Again, I can scroll forward or rewind through those key concepts as I see fit. Another way to access the same information is to select the notes instead. The notes are just a slideshow of the same material that were in the lecture. After reviewing the lecture and notes, you are ready to move on to the individual learning objects. And there's several ways for you to access that. A quick way is just to take the pull tab and you will notice you now have a level where you have all of the learning objects. Let's look at one of those. Each of the learning objects is created the same. It starts with a problem and an answer. You're able to get more information about the topic, which includes rules, formulas, or definitions, as well as additional problems under the self-check feature. You will also be able to access the Chalk Talk, which is another video podcast of an instructor walking you through 
the solution process. You can view all of the learning objects in each of the subtopics as you go forward through the material. To get back to the rest of the subtopics, all you need to do is select up a level or you can go back and access the course home up at top. Once you review each of the subtopics, you are ready for your WebWork homework. And again, you must sign up or register for WebWork prior to getting access. You can also take the quiz for Module 1. And again, you must pass that quiz with at least a 50% with unlimited temps. Well, now, where to go if you need some assistance? Well, if you need help, there are a couple of ways you can go about it. One of the ways is that you can always go directly to the discussion board where you can post a question for the instructors. Another place that you can get assistance is by entering one of our online review sessions and you will see a schedule for the upcoming online review sessions. In these sessions you'll be able to talk to a tutor and that tutor will assist you with any of your mathematical questions. Let's take a moment and look at the discussion board. I can either enter the discussion board for that module by selecting the link. Once I select it, I can start a new thread and enter a subject. Let's say I have a question on the learning object. I can type my question here and then I can scroll down to the bottom and I could give it a post. Now I can come back and check to see if my instructor or another peer has given me some more information that might help me answer my question. Another way to access the same information is to select the discussion tab and go into the module that you are already working on. You will notice that there is already one post, which is the one we just created. Again, each module is created the same and you can work your way through each of the course materials.